proud of the academic qualifications I've achieved um, at the learning centre, but sort of the the discovery that you're not thick, stupid, worthless um, is greater. I mean, it's life changing. It's been open 10 years now, near enough. Next year it opens. Um, over the last six years, how long? Seven years? Yeah, I've been here six years. Yeah. Uh, it's improved greatly um, and we've achieved no end over the last six years. In the last six years, just over 250 people have got new qualifications through the centre, and that's in a range of uh, subjects. But also this year, we put on a record number of uh, courses that don't have qualifications because a lot of the staff said they wanted to learn things like communication skills or assertiveness, uh, French, so we put, we, put, we put a real mix on. The Learning Centre then, because it was, we put it in place at a time when the service was very poor, when we had very poor industrial relations, we had 46% of residents were satisfied with the refuse collection service, which is shockingly low. Um, over a period of time, with the help from the Learning Centre, with the development and learning for employees, we now have a satisfaction rating with our services of 80%. It's quite significant. Huge. I left school I was almost 17 and at that point in my life I was virtually um, illiterate. Uh, I suffered from dyslexia which nobody knew at the time, so school had been absolute nightmare, it was horrendous, I was humiliated and after leaving school I spent sort of almost uh, 30 years of my life hiding those facts. Have you done many different courses with the Um Yeah, I started off doing ITQ because it helped me with my job. Um, now I can stand him when my manager's away and I can do his job, you know, go for emails and answer for him. And um, uh, I then did English level two because I had an issue with my English. And then while I was doing the English level two, I did a creative writing course. Oh, fantastic! So what was um, what was that involved in? Um, creative writing. When I first started it, I was very unsure and I was very insecure, and um, I didn't want to read aloud, so I didn't know if I'd be any good at it. But um, over the weeks, I found out that I was quite good at writing. And I enjoyed it and um, it gave me confidence to read aloud, talk to other people and um, make friends basically. What it's done is it's, it's brought everyone a lot closer. The centre actually sort of personifies the people within that depot. Um, everyone's proud of it. Um, I'm most certainly very proud of it and it always gets me about the learners go through it. There are some people where that have just been amazing, the efforts they've put in, the work that they've done, bringing their skills up to a point where they're happy with their lives and it is life changing, the work that goes on there. And that's where I actually take my hat off to the learning reps that are in place and all those that have been involved and supported it. We've got, you know, we've got a team here who are, are incredibly skilled in other areas as well as, as their jobs and that's what they bring to this, this as well. So I think the Having union learning reps, has, it means that we're able to reach more people that maybe, that maybe just, I mean, although Mick and myself are union, union learning reps, having the reps out there and their job is to push learning, you know, that means that we get far more people involved, I think. Yeah, it's giving me the confidence to go and do something new, try something really different, do another course, improve that and go and do another course and try and, try and add things to my life. And, the more confidence I have them, the better it is. It is due to this place. Well, but when you come going to the learning centre, the stuff you think that wasn't for you, I mean, you realise it's not unattainable. And you can focus on stuff that you never even realised. You know, it opens a whole new world. And they can really feel positive about themselves. When you feel positive about yourselves, it's not something has a knock-on effect to everybody else around. 
One of the very good stories I sort of remember about, about the Learning Centre, and I always do repeat this because there's normally quite a stigma about not being able to read and write. And I came into the depot once and there was a, a sort of a posse of people sort of hanging outside one of the classrooms um, and I yelled out to them, you know, what you're doing in a friendly way because, you know, that's how, how we do things. It was just in a friendly way. And they yelled out, oh, we're learning to read and write. And they were able to holler that out across the yard because there was no stigma. It had all gone. make a great deal of a difference to people's lives as well. It's not just the qualifications, it's what they get out of the learning. So we've got street sweepers who uh, previously didn't want to make eye contact with people, uh, but now are giving directions and, and chatting to people on the beach and in town and, and, and helping people yeah, with, with, with kind of queries and questions, visitors to Brighton and, and local people. So that's something we hadn't really anticipated. We knew it would we hoped and kind of knew that literacy would help people with form filling, uh, but certainly, you know, the helping people find a voice uh, and, and it's really empowered people to, to ask for more at work, you know, ask for more training, ask for uh, development, ask for promotion, um, kind of assert themselves, and I think that can only be a good thing. Yeah. There's been cases here with, with, with people from the Learning Centre have gone back home and for the first time ever, I start to, to read stories to their children, bedtime stories at night. So this is how the learning agenda and learning spreads back from them to their children. For the first time ever, that they're able to read stories to their children. And it's good, I think, because we don't operate it. It isn't done in a, it doesn't sort of fit in a management structure. So it's sort of run by learning reps for learners. And it's the perfect style of running something. It's, it's just, just fantastic. I have a joy. I mean, the other great story is, 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 is I mean, the person who, who may well be listening to this is a person who used to be, and he was significant in getting the learning centre off the ground. He used to be a recycling driver here and suffered dys dyslexia, went through the learning centre, got a GCSE grade A, can you believe it, um, <laughs> and went off and worked for other unions on learning. That's a great story that somebody could come through our learning centre, leave the organisation and get a much, much better job. He's still actively involved, which is, which is great as well. But no, it's, um, it's the best thing we did, I think. It's a true partnership between the union and uh, city infrastructure. I have no doubt that if it wasn't for that partnership, this wouldn't have done anywhere near as well. And it is a true partnership. The Learning Centre has been described by the General Secretary of the GMB at our uh, national conference as a jewel in the crown. It's a pure belief, education is empowerment. Kráčal prázdnou ulicou, tíšil hladných nočných psov, Bol sám ako Boh, krv mu tiekla z bosých nôh. Šiel niekam za láskou, žiare modrých obrázkov. Stál o vojná, noc musí byť pokojná. It's just an amazing initiative, it's an amazing setup. People, I mean, there's one, I mean, I've just met lots of people, but one of the chaps that stood out was a guy who left school completely illiterate and is now doing A levels. I mean, what an achievement is that? Trochu lásky medzi nás Príď aspoň s nádejou Ja ju sám neviem náš Neviem náš Ja ju neviem náš Tak vráť tú lásku
Parce que Madina Tak mi vrať Vrať trochu lásky medzi nás Chcem vnímať ako znie Ten tvoj úprimný hlas Vrať, vrať trochu lásky medzi nás Príď aspoň z nádejo Yeah, you sound, yeah, yeah, I'm nice, yeah, yeah, I'm nice.